And another blaze is readily discerned. Splendor of the red ever hints at us through the pine screen. And our way forward is clear. What could be better? No conundrums today. No getting lost. I so hate it when I get lost. But then who's really supposed to like getting lost? This looks like they've hit it recently. It'd be cool to see some kind of collaboration between the Neponza watershed people and the Bay Circuit people on this end of things. Indicated turn. I'm loving it. <laughs> this is how you do it right. A turn to take. The size of this pine bark. Yeah, the blazing looks fairly new. This is cool. Someone's put in significant effort here. And there's another trail that heads off sort of to the northeast. There's a whole lace work of trails here through this thing. And that can be really horrible when there's no Bay circuit blazing, because you'll get really lost. But whoever's covering this particular area is clearly enthusiastic about it. And has done a recent run through. Probably Denny. <laughs> I think this is his bailiwick. There's all kinds of charming understory stuff like this. This might be Pipsisawa, I'm not sure. I made extensive photographs that will be laced through this. It's nice to be able to just zip through Get the basic run covered. There's another teasing glimpse of all that red over at Mine Brook. And we're on another Esker. Mushroom hunters have been through here. I 
think this silver here <coughs> is another section of gravel pit that's been worked out. It's a reserve or just not that important. Looking at this with Google Maps is generally very useful. Oh look, there's a little distant glimpse of Mine Brook and all its redness. Woohoo! Yeah, I should have brought my DSLR. Oh, and look, we're coming upon that all-important, whimsical landmark. I think the trail actually goes up that way. No, it actually runs here. But your eyes are instantly drawn to the wonderful incongruity of this piece of what you will see is some kind of reasonably cumbersome uh, kind of, I don't know, rat, not rattan, it's basket wear. Someone that's got more of a clue about stuff will know what this thing is made of, sort of like wides or basket wear but this I think is some little hunter camp and somebody hauled this thing out here and it's a fabulous vernacular amenity this is someone's charming wonderful little spot that they figured out probably be here soon what was hunting season about to begin and you can see a bunch of the mine brook fairly well through the trees there's its channel we're very close to it here the whole panoply of red in a panorama lies before you. I should have brought my damn DSLR. Oh well. It'll be a video kind of a story. As the poor little elf just isn't really up to it. I think I hear a freight train. You can hear a train whistle coming from this direction and there's no commuter rail anywhere near it. That's a CSX run that run, goes from around Framingham or so down to uh, Mansfield every day. Coy visions of Mine Brook and the mournful warning horn of a CSX run heading on towards Mansfield. We won't really run into Mine Brook all that much for much of this trip. The trail runs to one side of it. This is like a little peninsula that juts into 
mine brook and offers glimpses of it in several directions. See it all and its glory over there too. So. that expose myself to a little bit of chick potential which I really think is in the state of abeyance I'll now resume my way towards The last loving look at red, though. Jeez. And the old ridiculous love scene.